We'll guide you through how to download and install fabric mods in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So let's go and get started. First of all, you need to go and find some fabric mods you want to go and install. But just before we get any further, a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They're my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got so many awesome features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get help anytime you need it and your server will always be online as well. Ultra latency, instant setup and much more. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the description and in the comments. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So yeah, go and check them out. I really do like them. So if you're interested, go and check them out. We really do appreciate them sponsoring this video. So where I like to get my mods from is somewhere called Curse Forge. However, you can go elsewhere if you want, but it's just my preferred place. We'll click on Minecraft, click on categories and select mods. And now we'll just go and filter for fabric like so. So now we can scroll down. For example, let's go and say I want to get journey map here. I'll go and click on it. Once you've clicked on it, you can read some info about it, but go and click on files. And now what you need to do is just make sure you go and download it. First of all, for the mod loader fabric and also note down the game version because the game version needs to be the same for other mods you install and also for the version of fabric we install. In this case, I'll go and get 1.20.1. So I'll come over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file. After you've downloaded it, you can then download any other mods you want as well. Just make sure they're for the same version. I've just gone and downloaded another mod. After you finish downloading mods, we can now go and get fabric. So we can just go and search Minecraft fabric like so and come to the official site fabricmc.net. Then all you need to do is go and click on download and I just go and get the download for Windows. You can get the jar if you want, but it's easier just to do it like this. And also we need to go and get the fabric API. So click there, go and click on files. Once again, make sure you get it for the same version that the other mods are for. In my case, it's 1.20.1. So we'll come over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file. We've now downloaded what we need. So you can come out of your browser and open up your file explorer. Come into downloads and go and highlight what you just downloaded. And then what you can do is go and drag it onto your desktop. I just find it easier to go and manage it this way. Now we're going to start with the fabric installer. So you can go and double click on it. You should then go and open up. Now make sure client is selected. And once again, for the version, we need to select it for the version of mods we've got. In this case, I got 1.20.1. And then I've got that selected. We can leave the other stuff and press install. As you can see, it's now been successfully installed. And so then what you can do is close out of this. And now what you need is, I'm just gonna put my mods together. These are the three mods, including the Fabric API. We need to go and open up the Minecraft launcher. So just go and search for it. Go to the top of the launcher and click on installations. And then you need to go and find the Fabric loader for the version. In this case, it's 1.20.1. .1. Hover over it and click on the file or folder icon to the right. And this will open up the .minecraft folder. Now we need to go and find our mods folder just here. I've got some other mods in here, but they're for a different version of Minecraft and mod loader. So I'll just go and delete them. And then all we need to do is go and drag in the mods that we went and downloaded. So I'll go and select them by clicking, holding and dragging and go and drag them in like so. Now, all we need to do is come into the Minecraft launcher, click on play, and then come over to the left of play and make sure we go and select fabric loader 1.20.1 in my case, and then go and click on play. You need to agree here because we're running a modded version of Minecraft. Here we are, it's now gone and loaded. And now what we can do is go and get into a world. And so here we are, as you can see, it says the journey map, press J, which I've now done. And here it is. We can go and open up our options and we can go and choose one of them, for example, and then we can press close and there it is in the top right. And also, I've also got the other mod called Jade, which tells you what you're looking at, as you can see at the top. So that's it guys. If you found this useful and you want to see more, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And thanks to Apex for sponsoring.